So who was your who were your favorite rappers just like coming up like that you obviously being from the Bay like who who are some guys who like influenced you who you, who you would say the you, main one for surely E40 E40 yeah E40 for sure my ghetto report car that album definitely uh, shaped my childhood you know of course Mac Dre as well the Wolf Pack got my Vans on with yeah the Pack one of the most influential rap groups ever that gets no credit. Absolutely. Yeah. And then I feel like what came out of the Wolfpack is like HBK gang. And so And I would like to point out that a lot of those beats that the packs were rapping on uh, sounded a lot like the Mustard and League of Stars that came a little after. I wasn't gonna say it. I'm nah, just saying. Much love, much love to, to Mustard and everybody. No, but no, yeah. but I'm just letting you like, like but, the Bay had a little they had some influence on everybody. One thousand percent. I just had this conversation yesterday. I'm like, yo, the Bay and Texas get no love when it comes to who they influence. Like, mm, the Bay's mm. influenced everybody, and they, just, the Bay just and, and always we know gets it forgotten. Too. Yeah. We know it. That's why. We oh got, no, y'all like, definitely know because y'all let everybody chip. know. Trust me, you meet somebody from the Bay, they'll tell you. We got this big chip on our shoulder. You feel me? But people from the Bay are like people who do CrossFit. They won't stop telling you about it. <laughs> Yeah, we get it. We get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's the culture. We're proud of it. And if nobody gonna talk about it, we gonna talk about you it. Got you got to, know man. What Have you worked with uh, like obviously you're making noise. Have you worked with any of the other up and coming art like a guy like Pilo or like you know some of the guys who are making John Max? I don't know if you would you work with somebody if they are not. Let's ask that if they're not aligned with you spiritually or values wise. Would you work with someone? Man, we was talking about this yesterday on, on Ruse Line. Uh, so I'm actually about to get in the studio with Pilo coming up soon. We're going to make some slaps. Uh, I'm in the studio with LaRussell in two days. Shout you know what I'm him. saying? And these aren't necessarily Christian artists. Oh, no. Right? Pilo's not a Christian artist. <laughs> you know, you know? Me and Pilo have had some nights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that don't mean we can't make a song that is um, palatable for both of our audiences. That doesn't compromise So you, you'll we work with, yeah, as long as it's not something crazy. Yeah, as long as it's like. You're not going to work with Playboy down, Cardi, though. <laughs> I mean, I mean, now you feel me like the symbolism and stuff, the people getting possessed during his concerts. We can have to work on that. Oh, I've been to a, I've been to a Cardi show and uh, it was very, very I don't know, some vampire. Remember me and this floor there, and I was like, what the fuck's happening? Like, some vampires? No, I just didn't. Dude, it was like a seance on stage, and I'm like, you know, the, that was the only time in hip hop, and like, you know, I'll be around some young, young ass shit, but the Cardi shit, rolling loud. Yeah, seeing last all year. These, seeing all these, no, it was no, this was in Miami. Seeing all these dusty ass, muddy white kids with beat up forces, just fucking, just ah, like it was just like I'm like this. Sh- I don't get it. Yeah, I don't. It's the only hip hop moment of my life where I looked up and I was like, I don't know what's happening. Let's go back to the trailer. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really understand it either. You know what I'm saying? But shout so. out to him. Yeah, big big shout out to him. He got a movement behind him. You know what I'm saying? So maybe one day we could we could chop it up or something. 